Greetings, fellow adventurers. Lara Croft here. <clears throat> so, you probably stumbled upon this video because, like me, you were blown away by the incredible self-aware Laura video. I mean, a video game character navigating their own game with the wizardry of AI. Now, that's a tale worth exploring. The progress in AI tech is truly remarkable, isn't it? This incredible video made its debut on August 4th and is a creation by the brilliant YouTuber Foxmaster. It kicks off with a 19 minute deep dive into how he crafted this AI marvel. And after that, we get to witness the fruits of his labor. What we see is a witty Lara Croft navigating the game world all by herself with the utmost care. It's impressive, right? And would you believe it's already racked up a whopping half a million views, tons of comments singing Foxmaster's praises and even caught the attention of a few articles. But hold on a minute. There are also some folks out there claiming that these videos are nothing but a big hoax. Now, are they onto something? Or are they simply missing out on the fun? Well, grab your backpack, because we're embarking on an archeological adventure to uncover the truth behind these AI videos. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery together. Uh -huh. First things first, let's get a crystal clear understanding of what Foxmaster is aiming to achieve. What content is being presented to us as viewers? Okay, here's the idea. Create a virtual robot that would play a video game. In his own words, he wants to create a virtual robot that would play a video game, specifically one emulating the main character, Lara Croft. The video's description echoes this describing it as the process of creating an AI that plays Tomb Raider just like Lara Croft would. He also claims in the description that he used multiple free AI and they are available and you can try them. So in a nutshell, the ultimate aim. Allow this virtual robot to explore the game independently and replicate Lara's unique personality. Exciting, isn't it? Now, let's quickly dive into how Foxmaster claims to pull off this groundbreaking experiment The explanation unfolds in two distinct segments. Firstly, he elaborates on how he taught the robot to play the game, while the second part delves into the creation of Lara's AI personality, responsible for her witty dialogue. Okay, I was just too quick. I guess the devs underestimated my skills. The two elements are distinctly separate, as explicitly mentioned in the video. The idea is to get her to comment on what she sees in a realistic manner. Additionally, Foxmaster affirmed this distinction in the comment section when asked about it. Before we jump into analysing the first segment about the movement AI, let's make it clear how Tomb Raider 1 is controlled. Many viewers may not be aware that Tomb Raider is controlled solely by a keyboard, so the camera isn't manipulated using a mouse, but remains stuck to Lara's back. In the game, to freely look around, you must first come to a halt and press a designated button to activate the so-called free looks mode, then you can control the camera with your keyboard. When you observe the camera swiftly moving to points of interest in the videos, these movements are pre-programmed within the game. Additionally, Tomb Raider was renowned for its tank controls, lending a somewhat robotic feel to the character's movement. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that the game auto aims on targets when Lara has her pistols out. So, all you have to do is press the shoot button. So let's analyse the explanation. In the early parts about motion, it becomes very clear that the AI is supposedly vision-based. This type of AI processes and interprets information from visual inputs such as images or videos. It leverages computer vision technologies, which involve training algorithms to understand and make decisions based on visual data. We know the AI from Foxmaster is working this way, because he shows several examples of training the gameplay AI this way. The robot should be able to identify Lara, just like smart cars recognize signs on the side of the road. This distinction is crucial because it implies that Foxmaster's AI lacks access to intimate game data. Like the code, it's not a simple bot that can make decisions based on game data, like we have seen in video games for decades already. It could easily do this based on its coordinates in space, 
but here we are specifically focusing on determining it solely through what is displayed on the screen, just like a human player would. Because if the bot knows the size of a hole in advance, it will behave like a speedrunner, and that's not what we want. It has to rely 100% on visual information, as clearly shown in the first few chapters that all revolve around understanding the robot's vision. So, how does it embark on this gaming adventure, you ask? Well, as per Foxmaster's explanation, after teaching the robot how to move in this game, he gave the AI the task to search for new textures and move towards points of interests, if they're new and not yet catalogued. Foxmaster explains that the robot also analyzes differences in light levels and simplifies the contrast. Supposedly, lighter elements signify a point of interest. But to be honest, this doesn't make much sense. Sometimes your goal in this game might actually be in a darker area. Well, after this basic explanation, Foxmaster already takes us straight to the second segment about Lara's personality. Now, don't get me wrong. Teaching a vision-based AI to gracefully navigate a Tomb Raider level and seek out new textures is undeniably impressive. However, it opens the door to a cascade of questions because it doesn't show much more than that. Like, how will it conquer the multitude of puzzles that have even stumped human players? What's its approach to handling enemies? And why haven't we been granted a peek behind the curtain, revealing the inner workings? What tools did Foxmaster employ to conjure this visionary AI? In this whole segment, not a single snippet of AI tools or code is laid bare. Hmm, call me skeptical, but curiosity is certainly peak. No. So in the second half of the explanation, Foxmaster jumps into explaining how he created the AI for the voice of Lara. First, there's a really long summing up of her personality traits. And then he clearly states that this is all only for narration. This is very important to notice because again, it shows that the two AIs, one for direction and the other for commenting, are definitely separate entities. He compiles these Lara traits into what he labels a database. It might sound a bit odd to use that term when what we witness is essentially a text file neatly listing these characteristics. But let's continue. And at last, mm. for the first time in the whole video, we get a glimpse of an actual tool Foxmaster employed for his AI creation. Google Lens. Mm. According to him, when the robot, whatever that is, encounters a sufficiently large texture, it sends it to Google Lens for image recognition. However, Foxmaster doesn't delve into the intricate details of how this decision-making process of the robot actually functions or the specific software he utilized for that. Then Fox shows us how he copy pasts the outcomes from Google Lens into ChatGPT. Interestingly, this is one of the most transparent moments in the video, as we can genuinely observe the process in action. In the voice segment, he also introduces another tool. It's called PlayHT, an AI tool capable of cloning voices, enabling you to generate text-to-speech in any desired voice. Interestingly, this very video you are watching right now also utilizes this exact tool. It's user-friendly, and you can give it a try too. I only needed 30 seconds of Lara's voice to create this whole video. But let's get back on track. I want to highlight that, as per Foxmaster's own words, the game and robot are only paused during the voice generating process. He explicitly discusses pausing the game in the context of voice generation. This is further affirmed in the description, where he states, this isn't a live result. I explain it in the video. The game is paused every time there is a comment generating. The result you see here is all the parts merged together, and there are a lot. It means you couldn't have a normal conversation with Lara Croft because each comment takes three minutes to generate. Why is this noteworthy? It implies that for other elements, such as motion, the game and his robots do not need to pause, or at least is not mentioned by Foxmaster for some reason. Now, beyond deriving dialogue from Google Lens results, Foxmaster demonstrates that the dialogue AI can also listen and generate comments based on audio cues. This fascinating feature is revealed in the so-called audition chapter. It's also finally another instance where we get a glimpse of some software in action. But hold on, is that Audacity? The basic audio recording software? That doesn't make much sense. Well, let's keep going. When a spike is detected or when the sound stops, the average inevitably changes. The program detects this change and waits for an additional three seconds. These six seconds are then segmented and sent for audio recognition, 
similar to the system YouTube uses to identify copyrighted content. Hold on again. Are we about to get a sneak peek at his code and software? Let's pause for a moment. Oh, is that just a web page about what is audio recognition? And look, it's a screenshot of YouTube's copyright system. We've got another screenshot of a website here. What's it about? How to detect an audible smoke alarm running on an Arduino microcontroller. Wait, how does this tie into the video? Why haven't we been shown an audio recognition tool actually in action? If Foxmaster used it, it shouldn't be difficult to capture that on video, right? But suddenly she bumps into a wall and says, ouch, in the game. This spike increases the average volume, which the program detects. It then segments and sends that moment to the audio analyzer, which recognizes the word ouch and understands it as an expression conveying surprise or pain. Well, I'm in luck, as Foxmaster brings up, the audio analyzer. This should give us a glimpse of something in action. Oh wait, it's just an animation and a screenshot of a dictionary website featuring the definition for ouch. What strikes me as quite peculiar in the audio chapters is that, although it's the only instance where we catch a glimpse of some tools, they still don't reveal much at all. I must admit, Mr. Fox's methods are making me a tad suspicious. So, what did we learn from the explanation? Honestly, when you take a closer look at it, it reveals that the motion robot is quite rudimentary. Foxmaster keeps mentioning the program and robot, but what exactly they consist of remains a mystery. There's no glimpse of any code or tools in this segment. Playing a video game involves far more than just exploring new textures. Wouldn't you think? And the audio segment also remains very vague. We have finally shown some actual tools here, but there's still too much gaps in the explanation here because Foxmaster doesn't tell or show us what he used for audio analysis. Foxmaster also emphasizes that his creation can be made with free AI tools. So, let's summarize what we actually saw in his explanation. In chronological order, Google Lens for image recognition, chat GPT to generate her witty dialogue, play HT to create Lara's text-to-speech voice, and, well, that's it. The rest was just illustrated with simple animations made by Foxmaster himself. The explanation seems straight out of a movie. Presenting technologies that sound convincing at a quick glance, plausible enough for storytelling. But upon closer inspection, the coherence quickly unravels. I'll create a GUI interface using Visual Basic. See if I can track an IP address. Now, the result video is an absolute delight. I thoroughly enjoyed hearing Lara's witty comments on her own game. However, I couldn't help but notice something peculiar. Lara's audio generation AI consistently and repeatedly manages to anticipate and predict the actions of the movement AI before they're even executed. The proof that I'm currently in a simulation is that these arrows are not affected by gravity, but I am. See? That's odd. Foxmaster has clearly stated that Lara's voice is merely for narration. Yet in the results, it already shows multiple times that the two are connected. Here's a very clear example of that. Lara wonders why her magazines are still full when they should realistically be empty. The fascinating part is that the motion AI then takes action to test her hypothesis. The robot starts firing into the void for no reason other than to test her pistols. And after this, Lara's AI voice confirms the result of her experiment. The robot then resumes moving. Hmm, it's weird. My magazine should be empty, but they're not. Let's see what's going on. Indeed, this is not normal. The most plausible explanation is that all of this is just a dream, or maybe I really am in a video game. Now, Foxmaster made it abundantly clear that these two systems are independent, and according to his words, audio shouldn't loop back into the motion robot. But here, it clearly does. What's even more intriguing is that, if this is genuine, Foxmaster appears to have designed a robot capable of translating words into movements and gameplay. Now, wouldn't that be a remarkable achievement? A motion robot that can hear a voice 
questioning the infinite magazines and respond with precise gameplay actions. If Foxmaster indeed built it this way, why didn't he showcase it in the explanation? Quite perplexing, isn't it? This particular instance isn't isolated. In fact, these curious occurrences seem to unfold repeatedly throughout the video. Three, two, one, push, push, push. The gameplay also repeatedly shows Lyra stopping for the dialogue and only moving on when she is finished speaking. Her dialogue also occasionally provides a bit of fan service, such as delivering the famous line from Tomb Raider Angel of the Darkness, stating, leave me alone, I'm busy. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Leave me alone. I'm busy. And it keeps repeating the line when I want to be careful. I walk. As I always say, when I want to be careful, I walk. From the tutorial section from the first game. Don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. But hold on. Here's something even more intriguing. The acrobatic move she's making after pulling the lever is the exact same move Foxmaster did in a video from 2014. It's a precise recreation of his own action from that old video. Go. Wait, that was too easy. Wasn't it supposed to be timed? And here's another slightly curious detail. This same old video also mentions the weirdness of wolf tracks making it look the wolf walked backwards. Just like in the current video. It's not obvious, but on closer inspection it looks like a wolf was walking backwards. Strange. Although Foxmaster insists it's a common Tomb Raider joke. Speaking of his older videos, why don't we delve into Foxmaster's YouTube channel? Who is this cunning fox after all? <coughs> Foxmaster is truly an early YouTube pioneer, having launched his account on September 26, 2006. Right from the outset, his uploads were a mix of gaming content. His channel appears to revolve around a variety of interests, including pen spinning and gaming, with titles like Tomb Raider, Minecraft, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and GTA taking centre stage. His older videos already exhibit a great deal of creativity. For instance, this resourceful fox meticulously reconstructed entire levels from Crash Bandicoot within the Minecraft universe. Even more astonishing is his solo endeavour of recreating both Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2 entirely within Minecraft. Quite the impressive feat, I must say. Not only does Foxmaster possess an intimate knowledge of the intricacies of Tomb Raider levels, but he's also well versed in the niche details of the classic Tomb Raider games. Demonstrating this, he has crafted 28 weird Tomb Raider facts of videos, delving into specific and detailed knowledge about the Tomb Raider universe. It's evident that he is a devoted Tomb Raider enthusiast on multiple fronts. In recent times, he has expanded his Tomb Raider content, producing longer videos that explore what he terms iceberg theories. These delve deep into Tomb Raider lore, overthinking and generating fan theories from even the minutest details. Quite the dedicated Tomb Raider aficionado, I must say. Um, I truly recommend checking them out. Not only to get a better understanding of who Foxmaster is, but also because they're simply very fun. So creating intricate, and somewhat whimsical videos is sort of Foxmaster's trademark. Beyond his detailed Tomb Raider fan theory videos, he ventures into various other peculiar creations. For instance, he wrote a parody of George Orwell's work and produced a 9.5 hour long audiobook of it. He crafted a meticulous 44 minute documentary about Digimon World, produced captivating animations, and showcased numerous massive and detailed Minecraft builds entirely crafted by himself. Why am I sharing this? to highlight that Foxmaster is undeniably a highly creative, talented individual with a strong dedication to crafting his content. Despite the fact that many of his videos have relatively low view counts, it's apparent that he invests countless hours in their creation. He persists in producing detailed and lengthy videos, showcasing a commendable commitment to his craft. This is crucial to bear in mind, 
as I've noticed some people expressing disbelief in dedicating time to create a fictional AI video. However, Foxmaster has distinctly showcased his expertise in crafting videos centered around imaginative concepts related to Tomb Raider. On a side note, it's rather intriguing that Foxmaster on his YouTube page has never revealed any prior experience with AI or programming. Then, seemingly out of the blue, he releases this video about a groundbreaking AI project, coincidentally focused on his favorite game of which he has an exceptional knowledge, while it's conceivable that he could have been quietly working on AI in private. Some observant viewers have picked up on something suspicious on his community page. Foxmaster has mentioned that he's not active on social media, but curiously, the community section on his YouTube page serves as a portal where he occasionally sheds light on the behind the scenes of his videos and talks with his fans. Interestingly, there are numerous posts detailing Foxmaster's struggles with his computer. Apparently, he's dealing with an older PC sporting a broken spinning hard disk that tends to be unreliable and prone to crashes. It has even corrupted some of his videos. Well, the intrigue deepens when he shared a snapshot of his computer diligently rendering a modest eight minute video, a task that somehow stretches into the realm of four to five hours. Now, that's quite a marathon. Adding to the Sega in another post, he revealed that his old computer needed a whopping 24 hours and 47 minutes to render the first video about ALR. This raises a question. How does he manage to train an incredibly intricate computer vision and game plane AI accelerate it by 40 times as he asserts, teach the AI to play proficiently within a short time, all as a solo developer with no evident AI background. And let's not forget, he claims to achieve this feat on a self-reported old computer that grapples for hours rendering long videos, supposedly relying on an old school spinning hard drive. I've reached a point where I feel compelled to express my opinion. I assert that Foxmaster's videos featuring AI Lara Croft are entirely fabricated, to be unequivocal. I believe there is absolutely no trace of genuine AI in his videos, none whatsoever. It's important to emphasize that my skepticism is directed solely at Foxmaster's self-aware Lara's videos and not a reflection of doubt in the broader capabilities of AI, which undeniably has made remarkable strides. So, what's my working theory, you ask? Well, I've got a hunch that Foxmaster fashioned his videos in a manner not too dissimilar from how this very video you're presently enjoying was also pieced together. Here's my take. He starts by recording some good old-fashioned Tomb Raider gameplay, and then he layers on some dialogue written by Fox himself using a text-to-speech tool. That's it. Honestly, this approach could be applied to any game and then claim that it's being played by an AI. It's a rather straightforward process. As Laura Croft always says, I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. I would contend that these AI videos by Foxmaster actually require much less time to create compared to his more elaborate older works. Let's quickly go through some other evidence. In the description, Foxmaster writes that these videos are, quote, this video may be inaccurate and is made for entertainment. What does that imply? The videos always end with a weird sound. Foxmaster claims that it's an audio glitch, but it doesn't sound even remotely like a glitch. Here she is literally laughing. <laughs> but according to Foxmaster, it's not laughing, it's just a glitch. Curiously, long before uploading the initial AI video, a long time ago, he'd already shared some shorts referring to self-aware Lara. However, intriguingly, there was no mention of AI in those instances. It was probably simply him experimenting with a voice cloning tool akin to the voice you're currently listening to. Examining his community page, Foxmaster appears to be both fixated on and disheartened by the YouTube algorithm. When he posted a somewhat unclear flowchart detailing how his AI was purported to function, many viewers found it less than convincing. In response to a comment expressing this skepticism, 
Foxmaster replied with an odd statement, discussing how the algorithm had harmed his channel and expressing a desire for the algorithm to apologize. This suggests he might be leveraging the popularity of AI to manipulate the algorithm. When questioned about the tools he employed, aside from chat GPT and play HT, his response featured rather basic tools, virtual machines, Google text-to-speech and even Google's reverse image search. Clearly, these mentioned tools can't operate a video game. Possibly the clearest evidence surfaces when people inquire about specifics and Foxmaster sidesteps the questions, never giving any technical details. However, this one takes the crown. When inquired about his background, particularly if it involves programming and scripting, here's what he had to say. Foxmaster's response here doesn't require further commentary, and I believe it's abundantly clear by now. Foxmaster's video series about self-aware Lara is simply a hoax. What do you think? Did I miss something? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll also try to answer with my thoughts if you have any more questions before we go. Remember, you can easily create a video like Foxmaster's self-aware Lara. Just clone the voice of your favourite character, record some gameplay, and then write some funny voice lines. It's basically also how this very video you're watching right now is created. But I'm not pretending I'm some AI Lara Croft. Or am I? <laughs>